What is up, YouTube? Uh, today I finished my uh, summer classes, so I uh, wanted to show you my newest project kind of thing. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi A Plus with an LCD thing with that I slightly modified to be shorter, and this is just saran wrap I put over. Um, but yeah, uh, these are what I was going to use to power it. These are um, XL6009 boost converters uh, to so that I can run the Raspberry Pi off uh, some uh, lithium-ion batteries, but today I, I looked over the uh, boost converters and they are soldered horribly. That one's pretty terrible and this one is not so bad. It's not straight by a long shot, but uh, here, if you can get that, see, it's it's not totally bridged. It's It'll definitely work. Uh, I ohmed it out, and uh, there's no shorts on this one, even though it kind of looks like it. But yeah, there are no shorts on there, but it's really, it's not even close to straight. The rest of the board's fine. Uh, Honestly, it could use a flyback diode, and yeah, you know they they build these things down to like a super low price. I think it was about uh, three dollar or two something each. But uh, yeah, this one is terrible. I bought two because it came in a pack of two for uh, a couple dollars. But yeah, this one's pretty bad. It's not bridged either, but it's barely on the pads. Like. It's it's pretty horrible. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger for you guys. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. So uh, yeah, I was gonna heat them up on the bottom with a hot air gun and uh, move them around with some tweezers, but uh, I think there's an easier way, and I'm just going to use a regular soldering iron and uh, heat up the pin and shift it over. But yeah, hopefully I can show you this cool project later when it's uh, done. So yeah, you know, a little uh, 3.5 inch TFT with a touch screen and two of these Wi-Fi dongles. I already tested the dongles, they work great. Um, this has already been configured. But yeah, stay tuned in the future. This video is basically just a warning that if you buy these things, they could be soldered pretty badly, so you should check to make sure it's aligned and, uh, you know, test it with a uh, constant current uh, or uh, limited current supply when you test these things so you don't blow them if they are shorted so uh, yeah it's basically yeah just a warning that that could happen if you buy one of these cheap things Phew, really bad I could have done better